Lesson two is on ethos, pathos, and logos. We learned about what persuasion is. Now we're going to talk about three ways that you can persuade people. We get this from the ancient Greeks who studied logic and they studied persuasion. We still use their techniques to this day. They came up with three ways to persuade people to either thought, like changing their thinking, or getting people to do something they wouldn't normally do. So there are three major components. If you, make sure you have these in your notes somewhere. Ethos, pathos, and logos. You're going to hear that a lot, especially in the upper grades. You hear it constantly. Next time you guys watch TV, like tonight, uh, when you watch commercials, try to pay attention to what are they using, ethos, pathos, or logos. They usually use all three of them. Okay, so if I'm trying to sell you a, um, let's see, what's a cool product? Um, a super sharp knife. All right, I'm trying to sell you some sharp knives. I want you to buy my knife set. Now, if it wasn't for this commercial, normally, you would never buy them in your normal day-to-day -day life. You would never buy my knives. So I need to persuade you to buy them. I need to get you to do something you wouldn't normally do. So in my commercial, I need ethos. I need to build some credibility. I need somebody to talk to you who has knowledge about knives. So who might that be? What do you think, a doctor? No. George Foreman. Nah. George Foreman. Hey, George Foreman sells a lot of products, right? And he, he was a famous boxer. But now he's just like selling grills. Okay? Well, I guess he's got some credibility. He's an athlete. But I want to sell these knives. What about if I brought in an expert chef? A world-class chef. Would that be a credible source? Yes. Yeah. Man, here's the best chef in the world using these knives. That's kind of persuasive. I'll, hey, if I'm going to have some knives, I want them to be the best. And he uses them, and he's good. All right, so that's ethos. What about pathos? How can I use emotion to get you to buy my knives? Okay. Pink handles, how's that? Make pink handles and say, hey, you know, a big part of the proceeds will go to helping breast cancer research. That would be pathos, right? What about, don't they have in all the commercials when they interview people who've bought them? Yeah. And they're like crying, they're like, it just totally changed my life, you know? I used to be in the kitchen forever trying to cut things and my husband was going to divorce me because my food was horrible, but now with these knives, Everything looks beautiful. My kids love me. My husband loves me. You've saved my marriage. So that would be using all emotion, right? Now what about logos? See, that's the American way. People want logic. That's like a British Western thing. They, uh, they love logic. They don't care about emotions. Okay, well, how can I sell these knives in a logical way? Think about numbers, things like that. All right, so if I said it cuts your food 50% faster, studies show 50% faster, right? Meal preparation time is, has been cut by 50%. And what about, do they play with prices and numbers and dates as well? Yes. Right? It's only $19.99, but if you act in the next five minutes, We'll throw in two sets, absolutely free. That's a lie. You know what I'm saying? That's logic. Oh, so if I buy them now, I'll get more for my money. Okay, that's logical. So if you take all three, you're going to sell a lot of knives. You got the best chef in the world. You got people crying. You got a good price. Okay, that's a commercial right there. I think with all three, we can get millions of Americans sitting in their lazy chairs to buy these knives. And they normally would never buy them. So are you beginning to see how this works? All right. 
This is a powerful tool, and I'm afraid once you guys master it, you'll be master manipulators. Don't try to manipulate me, though. I know all the tricks already. Okay, so. Whoa, something went. All right. So we had this situation I wanted you guys to think about. You are the, bro the older brother or sister. I, I picked a, an older sister for the picture. You're the older brother or sister. You're responsible for your little brother or sister. We'll say little sister. Little sister goes to her little um, junior high school little party they're having down the block. She's having a good time. She's supposed to be home by 10. She comes home by 10, everything's cool. But it's 10 o'clock, she's not home yet. So she calls you. Hey, I'm having a great time, and what's more, this guy really likes me, and if I leave the party, then all these other girls are gonna talk to him. This is my only chance, I'll probably never see him again. He's from um, um, some other city somewhere. This is our only time. He's from Fresno, from the Vatos Locos in Fresno. So, this is my only chance. Can I stay? Now, you're the older brother or sister. If she stays and gets in trouble, it's you. You're the one who's getting get in trouble. Mom's going to take away your phone. That's all I need to say. Mom's going to take away your phone. She's going to cut your phone plan for a month. So, your job is to persuade her using ethos, pathos, and logos to come home. Next Let's start with, you know what, why don't you guys take a few minutes, about three minutes, go ahead and talk to each other, and then we'll come back. Go ahead. <laughs> Just pretend. Alright, so, let's work on it then. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually type in these boxes. So, what are some ideas? What's one way? Anybody? Wait, hold on. Let her stay. That's not an option. You're going to lose your phone. The job is to persuade her to come home. You're not being very persuasive when you let her stay. You're, right? Remember, your job is to get someone to do something they wouldn't normally do. It's normal for her to want to stay. Right? Yeah. Okay. Say there's a much better person a few blocks away. There's a better guy out there? There's a male stripper in the house. All right, well, if we say there's a, you know what? If we say don't worry about the vatos locos, there's a better guy for you. All right, which one is that? Ethos, pathos, or logos? Which one is that? I don't know. Ethos. Ethos is credibility and trust. Isn't it more emotional? Yeah, emotional. There's a better guy. Come on, right? You deserve better. There's a better guy. Okay, what else? Don't tell me that's the only one because little teens, they'll shoot down everything you have. You have to, oh, you have to overwhelm them with, with right reasoning. For you. Oh, your parents? Mom, dad's looking for you right now. All right, which one is that? Eat those pathos or logos? Pathos. You think it's pathos still? Yeah. Fear, right? Yeah. You know, when they talk about pathos, the two most... Motivating things is fear and love. Use both. So, parents are looking for you. If you don't come home, I'm not going to love you. Well, I don't, you know, and it could be pathos, it could be ethos as well, though. Well, no, no, that's not quite ethos, credibility. Let's go with I won't love you. I won't love you. I know, that's the class, though. I'm not going to love. I mean, you could just hate him for a few days, and then you could just like him again. You're so difficult. I hate you. Okay, what else? You guys are all emotional. We need some... Okay, bribe him. I'll pay you 20 bucks if you come home. That Which one is that? Eat those pathos or logos? That sounds like That's logic, isn't it? I was going to say that. That's what right. what Besides priming, it's also priming. Wait, what'd you say? That sounds like what the, the teen would say just to say at the party. Oh, I'll give it to another teen. Okay, so when you're trying to persuade someone, they might be trying to persuade you <laughs> as well. So you better know what you're doing. Okay? Blackmail. Yeah? I 
Blackmail. That would be credibility, wouldn't it? If you don't come in the next minute, let's destroy you. Do you guys understand why it's why it's credibility? Blackmail. Saying, if you don't come, you know those pictures of you and so on? I'm going to send them out. I'm going to Facebook them. That's, you better come home now. I'm about to do it right now. For every five minutes, I'm uploading. <laughs> okay. Isn't that credibility and trust? Yes. You're playing with your, your credit, and you're messing up their credibility, too. Come here. Yeah. I got another one. Like, if you don't come home, I'll tell where, I'll tell where you are. Like, I'm telling I'll tell mom. Them, like, tell, I'll tell mom and dad where you are, and they'll embarrass you. Oh, oh, mom and dad are coming. Oh, that's a perfect. So any time you involve the parents, isn't that credibility? That's perfect. Like right? Because they are, they're not just some random guy and girl who got married and had kids. They're your parents. That, that's they, they, that's, do you see where that's ethos? That's, yes. that's credibility, right? Okay, they're your parents. They have a little bit more weight than someone else. That's got to hurt. Okay. I mean, your parents do. Parents are going to come embarrass you. What else? <clears throat> All right, let's just go. Let's stop there. So do you think with... What's that? You lie? He's a loser. So is that logic? That'd be logic, right? Because you're not... It's not emotional. You're just saying that guy's a... Jerk. He's a jerk. People the guy is a jerk. He's already going out with uh, Rosarita. <laughs> okay, so, okay, there you go. Now, maybe with all three of those, you might be able to persuade her to come home. Yes. Now, what order would you do these in? Which one would you use? try first? Blackmail. Blackmail. It's interesting. So you guys think ethos is the, like, the more powerful one? Yeah. Blackmail. Blackmail and parents. Yeah. Blackmail and parents, those two might be the most powerful. Yeah. Okay, so credibility is important, isn't it? Yep. Let's not forget that. And that's and I'm glad you mentioned that because we're gonna do a whole lesson just on credibility and what that means. So let's try it one more time. Here's the next situation, a little more serious. Your little brother just took off down the street. I mean he's down there right now. He just took off. You're supposed to be watching him. And he took off on the scooter down the middle of the street. It's not some little uh, cul-de-sac. He took down on, on the, he's in the middle of Mission Boulevard. <laughs> Use ethos, pathos, locos to get him back. <laughs> I mean logos. I said locos. He's like four. So he speaks English. Hey, your favorite TV show is on. Okay, wait, wait. Hey, your favorite TV show's on. Hey, you're going to miss Sesame Street's on. You're going to miss it. Which one is that? Which one? No, isn't it Logos? Because it's logic. If you if you stay out, you're going to miss the show. You're going to miss Sesame Street. It just started. All right, what else? Brian, okay, Ooh. okay. That's perfect. Which one is that? Logic or is it emotional? Yeah, it eats That's them. gonna be logo still, right? Yeah. It's basically exchanging one thing for another. Blackmail again. Yeah. Candy. Are you gonna blackmail a four-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see, you can't use blackmail on this one. But candy and ice cream, right? Go. Hey, the ice cream man's here. <laughs> oh, snack time! It's time for snack time. You know, you only got like a few precious seconds to get this kid out of the street. You could use blackmail. You could be like, if you don't come back right now, then I'm going to tell mom you broke her vase or something. Or, hey, I'm going to tell mom. You see? You Is that, anytime you tell mom, that's ethos, right? Yeah. See, I told you blackmail could be used. Get back here, I'm telling mom. You can break your toys. <laughs> oh, I'm going to break your toys. That's <laughs> that logic again. That's kind of messed up. <laughs> I'm taking your scooter, right? He has, writing it. Oh. <laughs> they don't know that. <laughs> if you don't get back here, I'm taking your scooter. Don't take my scooters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. That may not work. Never mind. If you don't get back here, I'm taking your your Barbies. <laughs> <laughs> He's a kid. Boy. He's 
I'm ta I'm pulling I'm taking your GI Joes, your Transformers. I'm gonna break your Transformers if you don't get back here. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> that might work. What else? There's a monster. You get get out of the street! A monster's coming. Is that pathos? It's fear. If it's love or fear, it's pathos. So you want them scared. A truck's coming! A monster truck! I was funny because I once like, got into a car accident and uh, a truck hit me. It was an F, uh, F-150. Not a big truck, but, you know, decent truck. But my little girl was in there. She was like four. And she, forever, she always called it the monster truck. To her, it was a monster truck. I remember being scared the of monster that. truck hit us. I remember watching. All right, so truck is coming. There's a monster. Anything else? Um, that girl that you like is coming like, over here. Dude, yeah, those are boys. Boy. <laughs> yeah, like he thinks kissing is his boy. Yeah, yeah, he don't care. Yeah, that shit don't care. Like, maybe maybe Steve, I don't know. Maybe he would have cared at four. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, are we good then? Yeah, we're good. All right, so, eat those pathos logos. Got it? Yeah. Good.